Hi guys, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. This is Sandeep. Today we'll write a program on how to use the internal method and when to use the internal method. So let's write a program. First, I'm creating a class called Spring Intern Demo, and inside that, I'm writing a main method so first we will write we will see the why the why intern method should be used so first of all we can create an object in two ways either by using string literal or by using new operator you can create an object by using string literal or by using new operator when we use string literal what happens is if already a string is exists in string constant pool it returns that string if a string already exists in string constant pool, it returns that string. Otherwise, it creates a new string. Right? This is the purpose of creating string using string literal. And coming to creating using new string new operator, when we create string using new operator, it always it always creates new string. It always creates new string. Irrespective of whether it doesn't check anywhere in string constant pool. So they here comes into the picture of the intern method. Suppose by using by using a new operator, if I have created a string and I want to instead of creating an object every time, I want if it exists in a string constant pool, that string should be returned. In that case, I can use this intern method. So first point is creating strings using string literals has an advantage of returning string from string constant pool string constant pool returning string from string constant pool so if string exists in constant pool in string constant pool it won't create it won't create new string okay if string exists in string constant pool it won't create new string but creating strings creating strings using new operator will always create will always create new object okay string all using new operator will always create new object it won't check in it won't check in string constant pool it won't check in string constant pool here comes the advantage of here comes the advantage of intern method. Here comes the usage of intern method. Okay, here comes the usage of intern method. So when we create when we create string using new operator, it should check it should check in string constant pool it should check in string constant pool that can be done that can be done with the help of with the help of intern method okay so let's run, let's see a program first i am creating a string str1 equals to string str1 equals to hello and string str2 equals to str2 equals to new string of hello okay 
have created two string objects. Let's see whether these two are equal or not. str1 equal to equal to equal to str2. These two strings are not equal because this this always it creates str2 always creates a new object. So str2 will be pointing to some other object and str1 will be pointing to some other hello object. So that's why str1 equal to equal to str2 will return false. See it returned false. But now what I'll do is I'll call str2 string str3 equal to str2 dot intern. So when I say intern method what it does is whether hello exists in string constant pool or not it will check. If it exists then it will return that string. So when I say str string str3 equal to str2 dot intern now str1 and str3 will be equal. Okay, let's run the let's check that str1 equal to str3. Okay, now this should return true. Why? Because I have called intern method on the string which was created using new operator. Okay. Let's run the program and see the output. So if you see here, it returned the output as true. Why it returned the output as true? Because it was interned. Okay, string was interned. That means it returns the string which was there, which was created already in the string constant pool. It won't create a new object. This line won't create a new string object. It will, it will return the string object created in string constant pool. That is str1. Okay. Hope you guys understand this video. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, please ping in comment section. Thanks for watching my video.